Here's yet another thing you can do with dry ice. Big old cookie sheet and some dry ice that's been knocked into little pieces. Put in a bag and whack it with a spoon. And a big old pot of hot water. So let's put about a quarter inch of hot water in the cookie sheet. A little more. Oh, and I sprayed this, spray painted this cookie sheet black. Did that a couple of weeks ago, so it's thoroughly dry. Dry ice chips. Ah! Dry ice normally sinks in water, but the gas layer around small chips of it make it float on top. It also gives a good picture of early primordial solar system with comets because each chunk has little jets that drive it into rotation and the jets make all of the dry ice chips repel each other. If you blow gently on the whole tray you can make some solar wind that blows the, the um, surrounding vapor off to the side. Here we have two comet nuclei with asymmetrical jets got a little too close and stuck together. I can knock them together. You can really see the jets on this one that are propelling the rotation. <laughs> 